My name is Dominic Avant, and I'm a painter, and I'm presently teaching at Ringling College of Art. Um, a lot of people question how uh, did I come about into painting, because uh, you know I'm teaching an animation department at Ringling, so it's a uh, it's a little different, but there's a lot of similarities as well. I, I graduated from Rhode Island School of Design. I majored in illustration. Originally, when I went to school, I, I wanted to be a comic book artist. And by the time I left school, I think I wanted to be more like a novel, working on novel covers and that kind of thing. I was uh, working with uh, an old professor, Nick Palermo, and uh, who whipped me in, into shape with my drawing skills because I hadn't been drawing in quite some time, um, and was recruited by Walt Disney Feature Animation. It was in that artistic community, I would say, um, I found myself really as an artist. One of the animators there was teaching a workshop on plain air painting, and um, I remember a couple of guys were saying, hey, let's go sign up and you know give it a shot and I was kinda like okay whatever and I gave it a shot and he opened up my eyes to a lot of different artists for one and um, just the whole gosh the whole art form was so neat just to um, to go out there and, and and chase the light and capture try to be really representational about what you were seeing and trying to capture it on the canvas and it was um, of course, it was not pretty in the beginning, but uh, you know, I held in there, and maybe 20 paintings later, um, it was showing promise, and people were already starting to talk about you know, me as a painter. So that was where it, it started, right there in that art community. Um, and you know, I was, it was also, I was talking to some background painters and visual development artists, and trying to um, transition from animation into visual development. And during in that dialogue going back and forth, what they encouraged a lot from me was just um, for me to keep um, building on my painting skills and my color skills because uh, when they looked at my work, it was like it, they were pretty much their comment or feedback was pretty much well you're very you're a very strong draftsman and obviously you know great drawing skills, but your color and painting really isn't up to par, so they encouraged me to keep painting and, and keep doing what I was doing. The painting and, and teaching kind of, uh, they were coming, coming together at the same time. I mean, I was, I was finding myself as a teacher um, in ways that teaching I found uh, to be extremely gratifying because you're, you're really, you know, you're, you're giving a lot of yourself to students and watching them grow and watching them uh, go through plateaus and and just to me it felt like it was I was feeding off of that positive energy and I was it was giving me more reinsurance of myself as well because you just that positive energy it's hard not to feed off of that and to really you know apply that to yourself so it was a nice thing as I was, as I was teaching um, I was taking a lot of that energy and putting it back in my own work. All of a sudden I started, that was my, gosh, my first national award that year was Best of Show with Oil Painters of America East and Regional Show. So that was, it was great. To, that was a, I would say that was a, a great year for me, starting off with the teaching and then of course, my painting, just watching it jump and, and um, started showcasing in more galleries and winning more awards. So it all started to roughly come together at the same time. I think I transitioned into painting pretty well because I was a, um, a really good draftsman. I mean, I could draw, I mean, that was my strength from the get-go. I mean, that's why one of the, um, my old professor, Nick Palermo, pointed me towards animation because he was always impressed with uh, my draftsmanship, and he was, you know, he was like, "Wow, this guy would be a perfect candidate if he could, you know, if he could get fine-tune his portfolio for an animation package." So yeah, once I got in there, and I realized, uh, I think once I got exposed to really world-class artists, 
you know, I think some of the, the visual development guys and the background guys that were already winning national awards as painters. I think just being exposed to them, being around them and exposed to that, um, just, I just believed in myself, like, wow, I could probably do it. I'm one of those guys where it's like, um, if I put my mind to it, I honestly feel like I can do it, you know. With me, creativity is, is, is such a part of me. I, I really can't, to me, for me, it, it's almost, it's just connecting with myself and just being who I am. I, I feel like, you know, honestly, I feel like God put me on this earth to create. I mean, it's when I'm, do, when I'm creating, I feel at one with myself, like this is what I was put on this earth to do. You know, going back to the whole Disney experience, I think that was a great experience and I would never take it back because I, I believe it was that art community that, that helped me find myself as an artist. Um, and, you know, yeah, there were, some, there were some moments where, yeah, I wasn't quite sure who I was as an artist and where I was going because even though I was working, you know, questionably the, maybe the, 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 the best animated studio at the time in the world and working with some of the best animators in the world, I always felt like, you know, deep down there was something there was something else that I, you know, there was a little void within that I wanted to fulfill and I, I, was quite, I wasn't quite sure and I was like, well maybe as I delve deeper into animation I'll, I'll feel fulfilled and um, I wasn't quite sure. But I think it was ultimately when one of the animators, uh, you know, introduced me to a class on plain air and that's when I, yeah, from there it was like being bit, you know, bitten by a bug, whatever. I was just like, I'm constantly asking questions, well, how do you do this, and what do you, and, and each time I watched my prog progress just go, you know, pretty fast, and it was just that kind of gratification and seeing that instant, you know, um, results like that, just, I knew it was a match for me, I knew, you know, and it was my, my opportunity, a chance to become, it was my voice, and it was my opportunity to become the director. I always felt like, you know, you're working on a film, and I love the camaraderie, and I love working with other you know, other artists, but I always felt like I just want to have a, the opportunity to, to voice my voice, you know, and, and be the, the sole director, and, and there was just something inside me that always, you know, and this is the opportunity, I feel like when I'm painting, I feel like this is me, you know, this is my voice, and, and this is how I see the world. And my advice to people that are trying to, you know, find their, their passion, or I would just say, um, of course, just be passionate about what you're doing, work hard, uh, but just just be a good person because I think a lot of that, I mean, it sounds extremely simple, <laughs> but a lot of that has opened up a lot of doors for me. I mean, all the way going back to RISD, um, I have to thank people that, you know, they saw me early on when I was getting rejected at RISD, um, and they, just saw something in me and they just liked my personality and you know and bam there I was uh, being accepted at Disney. Just a really hard work ethic, being a good person and, and being passionate about what you're doing and doors will open, you know, things will happen.